All right, guys, we've got a new video for you today. I am going game hunting. I am going to like Goodwill, pick up some thrift stores, maybe hit up a couple of pawn shops and see what I got. So just let's jump into the video, let's jump into the footage and let's see what I find. Okay, here we are at Goodwill. And I just got some amazing stuff. Look at this basket. Look at this gumby. That's crazy. And you look at the one that's back in here. Transformers. Oh, honestly. Look at me. Hope I can find some more. All this stuff in tools. And I was just kind of looking for games and stuff. And in a, this right place, right time. Amazing, nice stuff. My basket is full of this heavy as heck. I'm gonna put this up here. Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> My YouTube. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Look at all this stuff. They did first, eh? Look at it. What is another? Three. Same with this one. I don't know. Like, stretch like stretch arms. <laughs> like the stretch arms. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, to tell you how much you get. <laughs> I'm going straight to eBay now. Somebody's going straight to my. Yeah, somebody's going to my collection. Especially the Nintendo and the Transformers stuff. The Pac-Man thing will go to my wife. She'll get there and the turtles will stay with me and Gumby. All this good stuff, man. Amazing. So I can't believe all of that stuff. 50 bucks. I sold a game for 50 bucks the other day. And they paid for all of that. Amazing. And the ones on top over there, I guess, too. Ooh. Which one? The ones right there on the top. Yeah. These movies. PSP movies. Yes, sir. It's always good, but I always hate when I see this. It's a good price, but they don't have no controls or nothing. Well, game's not refurbished. Yeah. I'm not messing with that. And I always see you fix. Crazy. Here's something. A PlayStation 2 steering wheel. Vita games at GameStop. I'm gonna keep these stickers on here because I can't believe that. That is just amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I'll take all these right here. All right. I think I'm gonna take that one too, but take, I'll take those first. Mm, what about these? I got that one. Is yeah. it any good? Because I've been looking at it on the Switch. It's good. It's okay. Sure. It's not the best, I mean, I like it's not the best one. Fire Emblem was pretty good, but. The one I had was on my uh, 
Yeah. What was me my 3DS? I think it was the 2DS I had it on. Uh-huh. You said you already had the Mario also? Yeah, I already had this DS. This actually went up. All Mario games are expensive, but I got this one. It'd be nice to have another copy, though. Yeah, I got it, but... Man, then that was always good to ask. Right? Well, it hurts. Like I said, pull open the door. We'll look and see. Man, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you for letting me look. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Can't make yourself. You don't look. Thank <laughs> you. Right We've had fun going back through the reminiscence. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. <laughs> Yo, man, that was a good stop. Some told me, my instincts told me to stop at GameStop. Wow. Y'all keep hating on GameStop if you want to. I'll take the stuff. Yo, they had Vita games at GameStop. I am keeping the stick on that. That was $19. This right here says it was $39, but it rained up at $29. And then... This right here was 14. This Vita game, which I'm gonna have to find a case for, was free because I used my coupons. So basically everything kind of came out to $54, 51 cent. And now I got $60 left in trade credit, which I will let my wife pick out something nice because I told her I was gonna get her something. I don't know what though. So let's go to somewhere else. Man, it's been a pretty good day. It's pretty dreary out here in Dallas right now, but I'm happy. <laughs> so I guess I'll go to the next place. I don't know where I'm gonna stop y'all. So I'm gonna stop somewhere. <laughs> let's do it. So I came to this new store, this little mall, and they had Atari games. And I found a game, it's a hero game. I would see them. Metal Jesus videos, like five bucks. Then I see like some slot racers. And then go. The other stuff like video pinball. That's pretty cool, some other stuff. This right here. It's a lot of stuff over here. See a lot of different Atari games I've never ever seen before. Some of them here. Maze. Maze crazy. I'm gonna look some of these up. I think they hear us right here. Okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff. That's not bad, man. Something not bad. See, can I find some more stuff? So, a lot of things in here. My hair is getting in the way. My hair is so long, guys. My hair is super long. All right, you'll see all the stuff in the video. So, I'm going to go through a lot of this stuff quick. Some of the more important items, things that I really do like, I'm going to stick and talk with it. So. Let's just start with one thing, and it's a toy. I got a lot of toys today. This toy I got was the Transformers, what is this? The Dino Desert Bot Warrior Snarl. <laughs> I never had this as a kid. I just saw Transformers, and I was like, oh, gotta go get it. I was like, amazing. This is the original one. <laughs> wow. Look up, the box is pretty beat up, but pretty okay. I'll say a C condition. That is pretty nice. And it was $9.99, so got that the Goodwill bundle. So we're sticking with the Goodwill bundle. Everybody loves Gumby. Gumby, Gumby, he your pal. <laughs> he can walk through anything. <laughs> Here is something 
I don't know if it's worth nine, but I definitely remember it back in the day. And it's Photon. It's an electronic phase targeting game. It was a like this gun. Definitely early 80s, maybe late 80s. I know I saw a couple commercials on Saturday morning cartoons with this. Speaking of that one, who remembers this right here? Airhawks. The Skywinder. I definitely want to see if this is what's inside here. And what's so crazy about it, this was three freaking dollars. Three dollars, what the f So we're gonna find out, see what's in here. I don't think these things never worked. It's still, oh man. Feel like somebody flew in and broke it. <laughs> Definitely somebody flew this plane and broke it. Look at that plane. <laughs> That thing is in terrible shape. But for three dollars, it'll set good. I'm definitely probably taking that to the toy store and selling that. Here's another. Photo. 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 Photon. Oh, instructions fell out of it. I got this because this had a Zax sticker for $69.99. I don't know if y'all can see that. But look at the kid right here. Look at your kid, look at the boy. <laughs> he was decked out, man. Look at that shirt and that helmet. Let's open this one up too. Ah, it's already been open. You got the star phone. Huh, so this same gun. Look at the gun right here. That's craziness. But I got it, don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm washing that. But it has everything in there. Like it's barely been used. Oh, there's something else in here, hold on. The styrofoam. It's like one of them caps that you did something in school. You got set in the corner. <laughs> like one of them corner hats. Why does it have a Sega Genesis control on there? Could you use this on a Sega? I don't think so. Add to my collection, a turtle, Leonardo. Pac-Man, Pac-Man board game, full. This is three bucks at uh, Goodwill today. Now this right here, this is definitely, definitely staying in my collection because I had one before I sold and I hated I sold it. And I'm not even, uh, a collector of the system anymore really but the nes advantage some guys like to just play around other guys want to rock and roll and the nintendo advantage controller is the perfect instrument for all you rockers the choice is all yours get the advantage only from nintendo wow complete in box this thing is clean this thing is really nice I've never seen an NES Advantage with two hookups. I never saw that before. So this thing has really never like it been used. Just a little bit, a little faded over the years. Pretty cool arcade stick. Okay, now we're gonna go through the games. Just a recap, you saw it was in GameStop. I can't believe they had Vita games and DS2, but more than Vita. So the 3DS game, gonna cover this in on a future video. Here is uh, a Kibra strip, but it didn't have a case. I gotta find a case for that. Then collar and mace and Galga. Yeah, this game is pretty risque. <laughs> There's some PSP movies, Dark Crystal, Final Fantasy, and a PSP game, uh, Harry Potter. And all Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Rocky and Bullwinkle, season four. This right here is probably a $15 game, you know, but we covered that already. So my first game I found the other day, it was a half price books. I took some books up there, so made $20. This is 29. 
This game used to go for like about $65 on the average. So it was a good find. And it's complete. I don't understand why this Blitz game is so expensive. I really do think the first Blitz game is really, really like hard to find. This one, I just don't know. I don't understand. I'm not a big sports guy. I do like sports arcade games. I just don't like sports like football, baseball, all that stuff. They're just not me. You see wrestling, arcade games. Those, are, I love those. All right, so here are some more pawn shop and Goodwill games that I got. Starting off with Rock Band number one, a DVD, TNA Wrestling, Hard Justice. Hey, <laughs> don't talk about me, y'all. I don't know why I got it. It was a dollar. But Mary Kate and Ashley, <laughs> Sweet 16. <laughs> yeah. A couple of PlayStation games, you saw that in the video. This game, surprisingly, was a dollar, but it's it goes for like about 20 online. And I don't know why. I, don't, I didn't know people still play this or like these toys, but Bratz, Rock Angel. Another game that was a dollar. Rock Band, Metal Pack. Ford versus Chevy. That's we saw in the car that was from another pawn shop here's another game another brats game it's about 20 about 15 to 20 dollars i don't understand why these brats games are great so i don't need it for my collection but i will sell it to get some other stuff and then the last movie is the self-destruction of the ultimate warrior recipe of ultimate warrior this was wwe made fun of him and they put him in the hall of fame <laughs> so it's complete I also picked up an Undertaker figure. This was like one of my favorite times with the Undertaker. I love the purple and I love like, I just love that purple look on the Undertaker. That was so iconic. This purple look reminds me of when he was in WrestleMania, the arcade game. So as soon as I picked it up, I thought about that, but it's the Undertaker, so of course I'm getting this one. And last but not least, I found a Atari game that I do not, I don't know anything about. And you saw in the video, and it was Hero. And the only reason I knew about this is because, you know, you see it all in the middle of Jesus beginning the video, you know, push it in, go da da, you know, so. But yeah, this Hero game, five bucks. Come to find out this game was an $80 game. Man, should I sell this one? Should I keep it? I'm not an Atari guy, but. I, just find something like this special you don't find a lot so i just might just keep that in my collection i don't need the money for it right now but it's always good to have it all right guys i hope you enjoyed all that i know a lot of you guys have been asking me hey why don't you show more game pickup videos you know going to different places so you know what just did it on whim say so, you know i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and just do some stuff like that because i mean it's fun you know i just go out so much i just you know other people do that on the channel do a lot better than i do but if you like more, if you like this type of video, let me know. You know, in the comment section, let me know what was your favorite pickup in this video. So don't forget, I'm giving away a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 1 with games and a controller. <laughs> with that being said, guys, thank you so much for everything. And always remember to do it the right way. See you later.